I'm honored to be joined by Senator Vin Gopal, uh, as well as Assemblyman Roy Fryman, each of whom are sponsors of the bills that we're going to be signing today. I'm also honored to be joined by the Chief Executive Officer of the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, Tim Sullivan, Long Branch Mayor John Pallone. John, great to have you with us. Luis De La Hoz, representing the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and Indy Samra, representing uh, the Punjabi Chamber of Commerce. So in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to have the distinct honor of signing a series of bills which added together will invest a total of $235 million dollars uh, in our state's small businesses and nonprofit organizations. So real quickly, in the interest of weather, here's how all this breaks down. Through the actions today, $120 million to our smallest small businesses. Those are five or fewer employees, epitomized by mom and pop shops. $10 million to further support our child care providers so more folks can get back to work without worry, especially now that schools are ending summer vacations. $20 million for our dining establishments, which are such a part of our state's identity and culture. $50 million to help our nonprofit community, which has stood so tall this past year to help folks in need right in their backyards. $25 million in, uh, to benefit startup small businesses and nonprofit organizations. The folks swinging the sign on the door to open for the very first time. And $10 million to continue the tremendous work of the EDA's incredible Sustain and Serve NJ program. Sustain and Serve has been critical to our efforts to combat food and nutrition and security across our state. On the one hand, bringing together nonprofits, this has been the ultimate win win win. Restaurants cook up the great meals, families in need are fed. Just as public health drives economic health, we also know that a healthy economy is central to maintaining healthy families and communities. This is not abstract. These supports are critical to our closing this loop and ensuring that the benefits of a healthy economy continue to circulate throughout a community.